you know, as you go through your daily life, um, does faith and religion play a role for you? Are you a, yes, are you a person of definitely, faith? Yes, definitely. I mean, uh, I've always believed that everyone has to, own, has to have his own faith, regardless of his religion, regardless of his beliefs. He has to have his own faith because that's the, that's the hedge that you, that's the pillars, right? And, uh, you know, without that, it's impo I, th I think, for me, without that, it's impossible for me. Without, for me, without God's existence, without knowing that God is there, without knowing that, you know, if I work hard, you know, I'm going to get rewarded, you know, if I, you know, it doesn't have to be in what I want now. It can be later, it can be in something else, and that's when kar karma comes in, you know, right. the energy and everything. So this, you know, this, you know, this, this kind of, I mean, you know, life, life has been fair to me so far, and, you know, I'm grateful I'm, I'm blessed with everything I have. Uh, I'll never say it's easy, I'll never say it's, a, you know, it's an easy ride, but... Uh, uh, I think that's 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 how it is, you know. It's um, do you do you pray? Do you formally I do, pray? I do, I do, I do. I always try to, you know, stay on track with that, and uh, you know, it just keeps me connected spiritually with you know with God, and you know, keeps my my feet on the floor. And always the idea of praying for me, it's a little bit deeper, you know, than just praying and following the religion. For me, it's always knowing that there's someone bigger than whatever I can get or whatever I can be whatever I can achieve, and there's someone above me always. And that keeps my feet on the ground and keeps me grounded, uh, keeps, my, keeps, keeps, keeps my sanity. Do you, think, yeah. do you think you'd make a good mentor to somebody else? Do you think this life view of you know, your, your sort of freedom to soak in different impulses and talk to so many yeah. people, and do you think you're a, a good coach? <laughs> and I don't mean that in a life squash coach, sense. Yeah, do you think, you're, you think you uh, do enjoy imparting those feelings to kids and thoughts to kids? I mean, I have to always inspire myself before I inspire someone. Mm -hmm. Always, every day in the morning. I have to work very hard. You know, I have to like really make sure that I did 100% so I can, you know, write a tweet or write something on Instagram or just write something motivating or... Right. I always have to make sure that, you know, I have done my part. Now, you know, I can say something, it might help someone, that would be nice, that would uh, make me happy. How about so being right. the ultimate mentor? How about being a, a father? Are you... Wow, that's the, 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 that I haven't thought about yet, to be honest. Um, of course, one day if that happened, it would be beautiful. I would really love to have a family and you know, have kids and, you know, just settle down. I know the settlement is more mentally, mm -hmm. you know, because I've been you know, in a lot of relationships and I know when you're in a relationship, it, you're like, you're mentally settled, you know. Um, it has, there's, there's something about it and of course that, because that's basically the natural way of life to have someone, you know, with you. Um, and, you know, of course it's, it's great and everything, but if you don't have it, you still have to depend on yourself and you still have to, you know, uh, I, I mean, you always have to depend on yourself whether you have someone or not. It's not, you can't depend on someone because they're just with you. But, um, you know, it, you just feel more support when you're with someone. You just feel that, you know, you can finish the training and can share more things with someone, which is, which is nice. I'm, I, I love this period now where there's so many kids around our tournaments, like all the you yeah. know, moms and dads, and yes. they bring their kids around. So you could see generations changing and, and how you know, so many more of, of this group of great players I know, are I becoming know. And, dads or and, moms. And it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, I mean so you should start with babysitting. Yeah. You know, maybe just right. babysit Shabba's kids a little bit to start with yeah, and just see how that goes. I should, I should start applying. I should start applying you for should, a job. Right. Might be a very tough. <laughs> you have to fill out the application. Yeah, you won't get this job right off the bat. You I know, know, it's going to be I tough. Know. I have to give up my resume. No, uh, no yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's going to happen for me. I think it's going to happen one day. Um, but I've always, you know, I've always, we've always, all the squash players, I guess, they've always been used to be comfortable being uncomfortable. In a way, so you always have to, you know, adapt whether you have someone or don't have someone. You have to go with it, and uh, we, we're not easy to deal with, you know. Like I think, whoever plays sports and plays sports professionally, it's 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 hard. It's not just the hours that you do in the day. No, it's, it's the mental capacity. And as you said, it's selfish. It's all about you. So your it's wife hard. is waiting, your spouse is waiting. They're all waiting I for you. I know. It's so. it's that's that's the. You know, it's the worst, you know, I, I hate to call it like selfishness sometimes, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do, or you have to finish, you have to give yourself time to stretch and to like, put ice on your body and to make sure that, you know, you have like certain things in the day and, you know, and you're tired, you, like a lot of days in the week and even the weekends you're tired, you don't want to go out. So your partner has to be very understanding and you have to, you have to bear a lot with you and you have to make sure that you have someone who's kind enough to you know, take all this in and still be themselves with you and still be happy around you, you know, and 
have faith in you and trust that you will give back to them at some point and you will still reward them with, you know, good things. Right. Because, you know, it's, um, it's hard. When we were earlier today, we were at Cleopatra's Needle, the obelisk yes. that was brought here from, from Cairo or from Heliopolis. You, you mentioned something about not, not having a great affinity for some of the old artifacts yes. of Egypt. Is that... Is that because you're more interested in the modern Egypt? You're more interested in what yes. you know, what society can do now, um, or is it just also that that's kind of old news? You know, if you it's, live it's there and grow up, the fact that your society is five thousand years old yeah. and that you were the first civilization on the planet yeah. is kind of. I mean, it's amazing. It's I appreciate it so much. I mean, like the, the, the great civilization, civilization, and all what you know, all have been, what we have, you know, all the science we have came up with in the, in the very old days and everything and. You know, and uh, and you know, the hieroglyphics, the way you know, the way it was like started, and you know, the way we write, it's such an. Well, art. the mysteries about how the, the mysteries pyramids I, I, were that's, built. That's the most thing which which I'm very you know profound of, the the mysteries. I really I'm I'm really into that. I'm really intrigued by like there's a lot of mysteries, and I'm even more intrigued that we still haven't found out so many things. But for me, it's as you were saying, it's kind of a, you know old news. I've I've always been you know in Egypt. I've seen the pyramids a lot, and I've been around the temples and monuments and everything so for me okay it's it's nice I appreciate it but you know uh, seeing something else you know other than that would would you know grab more of my attention more now right but um, but no of course it's 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 an amazing you know it's amazing for me it's I, it's, it's amazing has, thing to have and just to be related to and to be part of of course you know, oh it looks it looks oh, like it's a, it's dessert time we, yes, we get to test is. test your uh, Resolve. Well, in the, we're in the first day of the week, so that's not my. Uh, <laughs> this is good. That's not you my day. The, oh, this is not your day. That's not my day. Oh, I was hoping you get the um, apple pie ice cream strudel chocolate stroganoff. We'll we'll do we'll do that sometime in the weekend. Me and you will just you know. <laughs> okay. Sometime. All right. Looks beautiful though. <laughs> well, looks so good though. Wow. I'm probably gonna gonna pass on this as well. Um, the the J P Morgan Tournament of Champions is gonna be here in January before we know it. It'll be the 19th time it's been here in the terminal. And what are your thoughts when you think about Grand Central Terminal and coming to New York or coming now almost to a semi-hometown and playing the tournament here? So how I see it is that, of course, I mean, I'm like every other, you know, PSC player on the tour really enjoys being here and really enjoys being in New York and playing in this amazing venue and, you know, I've been playing this tournament a lot, as you're saying, and other tournaments around the world and people would know on the, sometimes on the streets and when you go back to the hotel, they don't understand, they would know, they would hear about us winning and everything around areas where we play. But I would like them to know more, you know. I would like, I would like things to be more in the papers. I would like people to know that number one, the world is here. Mohamed Shurbagi, when he comes here, he has to know. Nick Matthew, when he comes here, he has to know. I was, was thinking maybe things, things like this, you know, we should, you know, we should, we should, we should value the players in a way that they have to be more influential for the community mm -hmm. in a way that we should get some, you know, charity uh, organizations. We should, when I'm around, when I'm, I think, I th that how I see it, when I'm around the world is here, and I'm around the world is here in, the, in town for a tournament, they have to engage in, so, in, in some kind of an activity with these charity um, uh, And in our case, with street squash and city squash, yes. we have those charities. Yes, and it has to be a big story. You do this here in Tour Champions, but this has to be a PSA. I uh, that's how I that's that's my very humble opinion. I don't know maybe there's uh, people, some of the people wouldn't really agree with that or they would agree with that, but that's how I see it. That they should be influential. They they have they have a lot of power. Number one in the world in the game, in the sport, and number two in the world in the sport. They have the power to be around kids and be inspiring for them, and that should be on every headline in every tournament we play around the world. Mm -hmm. Whether it was Hong Kong, whether it was New York, whether it was uh, Egypt, whether it was you know anywhere in the world, we ha when when number one in the world and the number two in the world are in town, they have to be used in a very positive way, so they would influence the community and the game and the kids mm -hmm. of this country in a positive way, and right. that's one of the things that I, I've always believed that you know it should happen. We that's could just do one a better idea. job of. You know, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's just common sense. You never know one of these kids can be a world champion one day when they, when they have this opportunity to play with. And you them. never know who's watching to exactly. see something that, you know, creates 
enthusiasm from a businessman or you know a connection where all of a sudden they want to we, come in and they want to sponsor the sport or they want to definitely. take it to the next we, level. We have we have a responsibility, and I think that we have to we have to see we have to. We're going to pass. Thank you. We're, we're thank, you. Good, thank you. I think that the you know the only way to transcend this game is that we have to think less materialistically. First, we have to make sure that you know. Of course, I'm, I'm sure it's. I'm pretty sure it's business for a lot of people. I mean, like this. I mean, it's 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 a job. It's a job for me. It's a job for whoever is involved in the game. But once we start thinking a little bit less materialistically about the whole thing, and we you know we get involved in in things that it would influence the community in a positive way, that's how we're going to we we're going to to make the people understand what what are the what what squash is all about. You know, what's this game? How how genuine this game is? You know. How meaningful this game is! There's so much, to, there's so much the players, as I said, can introduce to the game as characters and as players and as ambassadors. And this this has to be done. I mean, hopefully sooner than later, but this has to be done at some point. And everyone involved in this game, promoters, players, volunteers, uh, the tour, uh, you know, whoever is involved in this game, has absolutely has to be. In somewhere, in, in somewhere better than where they are, or which, which is not that we're not at the best place now, but we can we can be so much better. And some of this is just communication and bringing people yes. together and having shared Definitely. ideals, having a shared business plan, yes. saying that charity and nonprofit activity has to work across the board. All 12 yes. major events have to have the same mandate, the same place, the same kind of stories. The community-based organization, community-based outreach. We can all do that, yes. and maybe we all need to be brought together a little bit more with that game plan. But of, the of one thing that I is the one yeah, thing that's that's been a wonderful part of my experience in being involved in the sport and promoting the sport is how willing the top players are to do it. Yes, like across the board, everybody is in. If I ask, I, know. I, I, never, I never heard about any top player asking for like money for interview or money. No, they go, all let's go help. to the charity. Let's go. Exactly. Let's go hit with the kids. Fine. Because we love this game, we want we want to we want to transcend this game. We want to take it in a different place, but we just need the the right people behind us, and we need the you know. Of course, I totally appreciate and respect all the people who are involved in the game now, and they're doing a great job. Uh, but I still believe that we can do so much more with you know with 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 the value of the tool that we have now. Yeah, you know? yeah no, I think that's true. Very valuable. It is very valuable. You know, so. No, hopefully one day. You know, just uh, the PSA TV is a great start, and we're, I think they're doing a great job now. And they just, you know, should just keep doing what they're doing. And uh, you know, as as the years go on, it's you know, it's it's uh, it's it's donating, You know, it's like it's, it's being it's spreading around the world. Like people are knowing more and more around it. And you know, it just has to uh, just you know keep going. Hopefully. Let me ask you a couple of of maybe wrap up questions or okay. fun questions. Bullet questions. Okay. What's your favorite color to compete in? And why? Favorite color? Yeah. Uh, uh, depends on my mood. So how do you pick your shirt? How do you? On the day, on the on the day, wake up in the morning. That's the first thing I do. Whatever comes out of the bag. No, that's, it. that's the first thing I do. How I feel? Like I see the colors and how I feel. Okay. Do I feel flashy, or do I feel you know? Uh, how do you say it? Like quiet, or do I feel? Uh, Angry, or do I feel happy? So, what color goes with what emotion? Okay, that's a great question. So, black goes with uh, with serious kind of mood, like a okay. very serious kind of mood. I gotta go to work. This is business. Yeah, we're exactly. Gonna, we're gonna break rocks yes, out there today. Yes. Um, I I recently started like getting into more flashy colors. Like I, I don't even know the name of the color. It's uh, the yellowish, like the 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 startling yellow okay you know like the leader jersey for the Tour de France yellow or? yes yes something like that okay I, I, we must have seen it a couple of times when I was saying I started getting it just this year and um, it, I feel good wearing it all right and um, so that's when I'm you know in a good mood so I do this that, that means that I can you know I can digest more things and digest the atmosphere more. You okay. know, I'm not just so not you don't just, need a I'm, wall against exactly, the outside. Exactly. I can talk with someone, have a normal human beings, normal human beings conversation before I go on court, like ten minutes before I go on court. 
You don't need to be down in the... If I'm wearing black, I'm not doing this, <laughs> you know? Okay. Um, All right. Yeah, so that's yellow and that's, um, that's black. And, and that's bright red else. means... What? Red, I, d I don't think... Oh, yeah, I have, yeah, I have the red one. Uh, red one is more like I'm in a fashion kind of mood, like, you know, I want to look good or something. I'm in uh, Paris. Yeah, I was, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm imagining crazy stuff. Um, and uh, by the way, I totally believe that you know, squash players have to really make sure that they rise up to how beautiful the, the glass court is with their kids. You, know? mm -hmm. you have to rise up to that. You know? right. It's very important because the glass court is, looks amazing and you have to look good and rise up to that you know, task. That's, that's not an easy thing to do. You have to make sure that you look good. Um, white. White means that you know, I am very... Uh, um, I'm not sure how to say that, but I'm uh, I'm very transparent on that day. You know, you know, if I had a if I had a conversation with the ref or with a player on court, I would be very transparent. I would tell them I would I would say you should have you should have asked for a stroke on that one, or I should say you know uh, great shot. I would like like say it like really right. like from inside. Like that's that's just how I feel sometimes like that. What what about just some short thoughts on the best thing about traveling the world to play squash and the worst thing about traveling the world to play squash? Best thing is that you meet a lot of people and you get to you get in a lot of different situations and different characters and you know you, you, squash takes you a lot of a lot of different places in the right. world and that's we're really blessed to have it. And the worst sure. thing is it takes you a lot of different places. Exactly. You have that's to get the on the plane the whole time. Exactly. <laughs> you have to do all this check in and check out and counters and you know, you, you never know what's going to happen on plane if the if the hosts are nice or not nice, and you have to you know, you have to work your way around things. Uh, you know, it's, it's, sometimes it's annoying with the food and your regiment and jet lag and. But yeah, I mean that's part of the job, and you just can't complain about that. There, there has to be something wrong in everything. If there's nothing wrong in everything, then that's that's not right. What um, is your attitude about trophies? <laughs> My attitude about trophies, I just laughed because I know Shabana, I just remember Shabana because I know he's like, he's, uh, he's very relaxed with that. He would win like a world title and they would leave it for the... Jonathan uh, Power would leave it in the in the hotel. Okay, because they were, they were good, very good friends though, probably that's why they have the same traits. <laughs> yeah, the, Shabana used to say that. I was like, I remember it, like a couple times he would won, win like big, big tournaments. I was like, where's the trophy? Like we're going back on the, to the airport together or something. He's, he's an amazing guy. I love the way he is. He just has just that different mentality. He's, he's so unique. Um, but for you, trophies are tro no. I keep? take them. I take them home. No, I take them home. No. Okay. I mean, they, if they're valid, like if they're valuable and they're really good, I take them home definitely. If they're, you know, okay, I, and there's it, no, if there's not space in the bag, I wouldn't really make the space. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. if they're like big and they're crystal or something like really nice, I would, yeah, I would, I would definitely take them. Back. I think the last thing it would be fun if we could do would be to walk over, go downstairs, and just maybe go walk over and take a look at Vanderbilt Hall. Can we do that? I'd like to do that. All right, let's go down there. So it's kind of amazing to come in and see Vanderbilt Hall all empty like this. Uh, Definitely, I mean, that's... My memory is that when we build the Tournament of Champions here, it seems so big. Yes, like the I tournament was seems that. big. It seems like it goes on that's forever. True. And when that's you're here true. with nothing in the room, it's a room, <laughs> you know? It seems but it's, like... But it's... it's wow, it's, it seems, yeah, when, when things are set up, it seems like there's so much happening in there. Yeah. Like with the public just, coming through here, and it gets all jammed with people. It's actually very cool, actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Actually, you know what? Let's take a selfie here, me and you. Okay. Yeah. I like this. That would be nice. <laughs> here we go. Nice. Perfect. With you living in New York, I think you'll pack this place out from the... Day, day you show up. You've I made hope. so many more friends here in the U.S. Definitely. You're making a difference to the game Definitely. in this country. So we probably, be, I mean, you gotta get ready because probably you're gonna need a bigger we're place. We're gonna need a bigger room. <laughs> a bigger Vanderbilt hall. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It was good talking to you. It's great talking to you. Yeah, it was nice. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. I hope that. so.